James, obviously we've got Maidstone tomorrow night. This is going to be a, another tough one, having got a really good point uh, against Bromley at the weekend and a really good win last week against Solihull. So it's all about keeping that good form going, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. I think we're, we're, we're delighted with the, the way we performed on, the, on those two occasions. Obviously, Solihull um, had to be a bit more defensively resilient and uh, against Bromley, we, we went after them a bit and, and, and managed to get two goals and get in the lead twice. Obviously, we're disappointed that we couldn't, couldn't quite hold on to the league lead but um, fantastic two performances on, on probably games which are different situations to this Maystone game um, but one we have to be equally uh, respectful of the opponent and, and go in with the mindset of if we want to get a result and we want to, we want to perform for our fans. Obviously you say about the goals there I mean when we when we got the loss against Dagenham it was something that we really needed to improve on um, taking the chances that we were creating and since then we've seen Innie get you know what is it four goals we've mm -hmm. seen Jake get another as well so the strike force is pretty in form right now isn't it yeah we're, we're we're very happy with the with the recruitment work we've done to get to get Jake in he's he's shown and proven in in leagues below and in his previous loan spells that he can find the net and, and we're glad that he, he found that opportunity on 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 um Saturday so yeah it's it's something that we've looked at on the training pitch is being a bit more um harder to beat um slowing the momentum down of, of, of our opposition and and some of which the boys are, are dealing with and, and, and again being on the front foot and being aggressive that's how me and Ross our philosophy is and how we want to play we want to be on the front foot and we want to be difficult to be um, to face and, and, and give the opposition little time on the ball so we were pleased with how we dealt with Bromley as I said it's disappointing about we couldn't hold on but four points in, in those two games is something that, that we're, we're very happy with so moving on to Maidstone. Obviously with those two results and then playing Maidstone, a side that is below us in the league. Some people might you know, look at it and think we should really be getting the three points against them, but they're doing really well, on the, on, aren't they, under their you know, new interim coaching team there? Mm -hmm. and, and I think we know all too well, don't we, what that kind of interim period can do in terms of bouncing form. So it's still going to be a very tough challenge, isn't it? Yeah, obviously the, the mindset of players within that kind of unknown period is, is they want to prove it and they want to work hard for the, for the new manager. And he, he's done brilliant in the results they've got in terms of going to the two biggest sides in the National League in, in Notts County, albeit in the trophy, um, and managing to win and then performing against Wrexham. Um, we know it's going to be very tough, certainly in terms of mindset, obviously going into um, Bromley and Solly, or you're at a mindset where you're, you're the underdog and, and you've got to perform and you've got to reach and you've got to have that level of um, desire to beat them and, and work rate. So it's a different flip where we're playing a team beneath us and, and something where equally our mindset has to be switched onto that. Um, and going with the same attitude of, of we're going to be difficult to beat away from home um, and be aggressive and, and be on the front foot and, and try to take control of the game. Something Ross has spoken about previously is obviously, you know, earlier in the month maybe we were having, being accused of having youth players on the bench and a small squad and we were talking about that but, you know, we saw four of our new guys against Bromley all performing really, really well so is that something that's that's definitely encouraging for you? Yeah, I think I think bravery is 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 a key characteristic that that many um, young individuals should have, and, and Karoy and Jake and, and Ollie have all shown that, um, shown that age, yes, they're young, but they've got experience and they've got, they've got, they've got the guts to, to be able to go and stand up, and, 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 and they've been exceptional since they've come in. So again, as I said, we're, we're really happy with the recruitment that we've done, um, and it's just about, again, being front-footed, being aggressive, um, and being brave, both on and off the ball. Cheers, James. All good, thanks, sir. <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.